afternoon everybody and welcome to vlogmas day six it's day six we're on day six it's all a bit strange this video actually is a little bit different to the other vlogmas video so we are doing a haul today and don't worry there's festive spice to it so as you can probably see by the title this haul is actually with a brand called i saw it first they are very kindly partnered with me on this video i'm sure you would have heard of them they have some glorious clothing they have some wonderful teddy coats we know how much i love a teddy coat and they actually have some very nice christmasy sparkly dresses so we've got a range of items today that we're going to chat about try on and feel fabulous together. They have actually very kindly given me an exclusive discount code for you guys as well, which I'll put in the description box. So if you click the link, it'll give you more detail. And as well as that, I saw it first have very kindly allowed me to set up a giveaway with them for you guys. So we have two £100 gift vouchers to give away. And all you have to do to enter is Follow me and follow I Saw It First on Instagram. And also comment a little fire bolt emoji. I'll, I'll pop up the one I mean on screen. It's not the flames. It's a little bit, it's a little bit more of a bolt. Basically comment the fire bolt emoji on their latest Instagram photo, I Saw It First. But I'll leave all of that information in the description box and I saw it first, they're going to pick a winner in seven days. The giveaway is only open for UK and Ireland, just so you're aware. Anyway, let's get into the haul. So, I was very, very pleased to see a lot of teddy coats, as I was saying. So we actually have two today that we're gonna have a little mooch on. And we also have some sparkle. I can see a lot of sparkle down here. No, you can't right now but I can. So first up we have a big long teddy coat. Now these are my absolute favourite coats at the moment. I'm not sure if you noticed but they are. So this one is kind of a beige slash camel. It's a little bit more of a beige isn't it? I've got camel on. This is beige. Do you know what's really nice about this teddy texture actually? A lot of the teddy coats although they look pretty really soft some of them are some of them are a lie. Some of them are not that soft. They're a bit of a scratchy teddy. This one, a soft teddy. I think you can actually see the softness. Can you see it's almost like fleecy? Some of the teddy coats, I have, I have them and I think they're really nice on, but they're not that soft, he's soft. So this one is full length. Do you know what I also really love? I love the teddy coats that have pockets like this because I feel like my, my, my phone has no risk falling out. Sometimes on the side ones, I get a bit worried. Do you know what I mean? And when you got one like this, whap it in, it's got no way out unless you turn completely upside down. But most people don't do that. This I got in a size eight. Let's have a try. I don't think there's any any doubt in my brain. <laughs> and I'm not gonna. Oh, I better take this teddy off though first because I don't think it's getting over it. Um, yeah, there's no doubt in my brain that I won't like this to be honest because I'm just a little bit of a sucker. I want to see. Oh yeah. Do you know what? I'm really enjoying the really long, long coats as well. I know that sounds silly, but some of these long coats are kind of like a bit more bare. This, wait, I'll show you. This, this is a long, long. Look, you can't even see the end, but you kind of can. <laughs> oh, this is so comfy. It's quite thin, but this is where I think that the extra soft teddy material really like wins. Why am I out of focus? Come on camera. It's a teddy coat. We've got to show them. I feel like that's where this really soft material is very insulated. Some of the teddy textures that's more tough isn't quite as like insulated. How nice is this though? What are we thinking? Do you know what I just love about them is it looks like you wear a dressing gown but it's acceptable and a little bit fashionable at the same time. And I'd wear this with like some jeans, some chunky trainers, you know, maybe even a teddy bear bobble hat, you know? So, moving on, next up we have a loungewear set. Now, I feel like, I don't know if it was in last year, but I feel like this year, you can actually get away with wearing cozy loungewear like this, out and about, and be fashionable at the same time. I mean, we've got the teddy coats, we've got the loungewear. I think we're living the greatest fashion year of years in 2018. Don't know about you, but I think so. So, this is kind of like a beige, and it's cable knit. I love cable knit. I already really love this top just by itself anyway, but, so this is kind of like a cropped, I don't remember it being cropped, but it's a cropped long sleeve, kind of long sleeve, no, it's three quarter. Not sure if that's gonna be long or not, we'll have to see. And it also comes with some matching bottoms. Now, <laughs> these look quite funny off. I always think they look a bit funny off. They stretch, don't you worry. I think you could get away with wearing stuff like this out and look really kind of like chic, chic casual cable knit gal on the street. 
I almost rhyme, not cry. I just want to also release a disclaimer. I'm, I'm very sorry about the kind of blue aspect of the lighting. It's 4 p.m. on the eve and it's dark, like pitch dark. My blinds are down because I couldn't deal. So we're, we have no natural light and it's making me very sad and I think I look like a smurf. But just to cover that, that's why we look this way. And also I'm having a bad hair day. I was going to tell you at the beginning but I totally got sidetracked by I saw it first. <laughs> Right, here is the lounge dress set. Now I have to say, I feel like they just about fit, but I do think the bottoms are a teeny bit too small for me. So I went for a size small slash medium in these, and I just find that th there's a little bit of a weird fit around here, and my ankle. I've got a bit of the cankle, we've talked through this, so it was a little bit of a mission to get them over, but I think that it is very cute though. I think with a chunky trainer, wait, let me show you the bottom. Because I, I quite like the bottom because they are, well, I don't know if they're meant to be. I think maybe they are just a bit too small. But they are kind of a three quarter almost. But I do just think I need a little bit of a different size on the bottom. I love this top. I think it's very cute. I have one like this in white and I wear it all the time. I just love cable knit this time of year. I think it's just glorious. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? It's kind of like a, what colour would you call this? Beige, a little bit beigey, bit, kind of in between beige and grey. Greyish. Right, next up we have our first dress. Now do you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not, I suppose I'm, I'm slowly becoming better with dresses, but this time of year I get my glitz on. I get my glitzy dress out and about and I don't feel silly about it. This one isn't so glitzy. We do have a glitzy one down there, but I'm not showing you that one yet. So this is kind of like a maxi dress. They're my favorite kind of length. So they're not quite to the foot so that you're a pencil. It's got a slinky vibe. So it's a very soft cotton material and it's got this sort of scrunch on the back and it's got this sort of backless look with a just one little strap across the back. I feel like I need to put it on for you to really see. So I'm gonna pop it on. I got this in a size six. Let's have a try. Right, so this is it. Now I'm feeling a little bit fancy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit fancy right now. I really, really like the color. I think it's very kind of classy. And I really like the length, let me show you, let me hold a sec. I don't like the ponytail with it, but we're having a bad hair day. <laughs> if you can see, it's kind of just a really nice length, but there's still space down the bottom. Got a nice sort of square neck as well. I really like the delicate sort of straps dresses. I feel like they're really, they're just really elegant. I feel like this actually would be really nice in the summer and the winter as well. It's got a bit of a bit of in the middle vibe, isn't it? You could dress it summery, or you could dress it glitzy with like a glitzy, little clutch. Right, next up we have a cohort. Now, this cohort, as you just see, is a little bit snazzy. So I feel like leopard print is very much an in and out kind of style. And at the moment, I think it's very in. And I actually really like the kind of red leopard print style. I'm, I don't actually wear a lot of the, the, the usual typical leopard print colors, but there's something about the red. Now I have like a red top that, that basically looks like this and I absolutely love it. And I think the red's quite festive as well. I just like red. So this also has a matching denim jacket, which I think is very cute. And I would actually wear this by itself as well. And also with the skirt, I wouldn't always put them together. I think to put them together is gonna look like almost preppy, but I would actually really like that kind of style. Then you could also wear both of them apart and it would look cute too. So I'm gonna pop it on, we'll have a see. I got these in a size eight. Right, this is it. Do you know what? I know it's very out there, and I know some people would just prefer like one thing or the other because it's quite a lot of left print. However, I actually think it's really cute when people wear sort of matching pattern. I've seen a lot of like matching kind of tartan this time of year, and I love it. I feel a little bit like Clueless Gone Leopard, but I don't mind. I think it's very cute. It did have a buckle around the belt, but I actually took it off because I wasn't was it vibing? Right, next up we have a little knitted crop top slash jumper. So I feel like this is just a nice little one to just throw on with other things. So it would just obviously go with everything. It's just a little white knitted, ribbed, love a rib. It would go with this. It would look nice with jeans, it would look nice with a teddy coat. It's just one of them and it's like in between a jumper and a top. So this is it. I actually really like where this sits. I thought it was going to come down a bit lower and it was going to be kind of that awkward, almost tuck in length, but not quite. However, this 
is just perfect because these jeans aren't actually that high waisted so if you wore high waisted jeans it would kind of meet exactly where you want it to and you wouldn't have the extra ruffle trying to tuck it in you know this actually came in quite a few other colors as well it's just one of those good basics isn't it it's a good warm basic and i got this one in a size small this is small. I'm actually very, very excited to try on this coat. When I saw it, it just has a very kind of expensive vibe. It reminds me of like a designer jacket I've seen. I can't really think what it was, but this is a camo teddy and it's almost, it's kind of a bomber. I think I would say it's a bomber sort of shape. The thing is, I think these kind of jackets are quite statement, but they just look so cute and cozy and wonderful. And do you know what? It'd go really well with this outfit. But I actually got this in a size small, and I feel like it does almost have a little bit of a kind of bagginess to it, even though it is a small. And I, I don't know, it's just, you know, it's not gonna go with everything, but I think it's one of those statement pieces that just could make it a really plain outfit, really cool and camo. Love it. So, this is the very glitzy of the gang. <laughs> I was going to say the glitzy of the gang. This is the very glitzy one of the order, which I'm slightly scared of, but I feel like it could look fabulous. So, this is, this is called Silver Sequin Cowl Backless Dress. So, I don't think it's going to do it any justice until I put it on, and I feel like I'm going to have to try and work out how to put it on. <laughs> but it looked glorious on the model, and it's all sort of strapped with a chain. Very fancy, and I'm a bit scared. I'm gonna try it on. I got this in a size eight. Let's see. Right, so, <laughs> this is it. However, it is just a little bit too big for me, to be honest. So I definitely think I could have done with a size six, and I'm also not sure it's just, I don't think I'm quite glam enough for this. It is very glam. It reminds me of like a dancer. Now, you don't want to see me dance. <laughs> if I've got the confidence. I feel like, I don't know, I'm not sure I've quite got the confidence of I'm quite glam enough. I mean, I love the glitziness to it. It is very out there, I just don't know if it's quite me. And it is just a little bit too big, so yes. If you are gonna go for this one, I would say either go for your usual size or go down because it is quite kind of large fitting on the straps, I found. So finally, we have this very lovely, very long kind of maxi dress again. Now these are definitely my favorites, I'm not gonna lie, they just make me feel a lot more comfortable. I like where it sits on my leg, I don't know what it is, I just think it kind of suits me more as well. So this is kind of like a brown sort of tone, which I think is very festive. It's almost like a rustic, it's almost like a rustic brown going into orange. I feel like brown shades are very in at the moment. I got brown on, you know? So it has kind of like a swirly design on, and it's a velvet material. It has a really nice kind of backless back again. I feel like backless backs are very in. I mean, they're always quite in, but all the dresses I've tried on today have been very backless. Let's have a try. I got this one in a size six. Let's have a try. Apparently this one, this color is called chocolate as well. Right, so this is the last one. Now again, this is a little bit cheeky. I absolutely love the back. Look how pretty this back is. Get your back out. I actually really like this color as well. I think it is very festive and the velvet gives it that kind of touch. I also put my hair down by the way because I just don't like the way ponytails look with dresses and I made this mistake before in a haul. Did it again today. <laughs> Anyway, that's everything for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will make sure that I link, <laughs> I also realize that I clap a lot now on my videos when I do hauls. Again, I thought I stopped because I, I literally look like a seal but I began again, so I'm gonna stop. I will link everything in the description box, and also the link to the discount code will be in the description box and the details of the giveaway. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what your favorite thing was. Mine well, definitely was the teddy coats. I'm not gonna lie, they just have a place in my heart. I wear them every day. They're the greatest. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I'll hopefully see you on Vlogmas number seven, and we could be in a different country. And it could be very exciting. I'm very excited that we're going to be somewhere very exciting. So many excitement.